Jack, welcome to Exeter. How does it feel to be a City player? Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, it's been perfect, really, speaking to the gaffer. Once I knew Exeter were interested in me, it was kind of just flew from there. The last couple of days have been quite quick and the turnaround has been quick, but yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. Tell us a little bit about how this move came about for you. Well, I first got the phone call on Thursday um, saying I've got a Zoom meeting with the gaffer Friday morning. Had a real good chat with him there. Uh, really enjoyed what he was saying to me. There's a feel good factor about the club. And then after the Zoom call, I kind of come off there thinking, yeah, this is the place I want to be. So moved quite quickly, went up to St. George's and met the squad on Friday night. Uh, didn't meet the squad, sorry. Had like a little bit of a medical, spoke to the gaffer, uh, the physio and um, a few of the coaching staff. And yeah, just from there signed obviously now and uh, can't wait to get started. I know you turned down a couple of offers from other clubs. What was it about Exeter that sold it to you? The gaffer's uh, way of playing, uh, his ideas for the club going forward, uh, the way the boys have started to the season has been excellent as well. I just think there's a whole feel-good factor about Exeter coming down here. And yeah, it's a chance for me to improve, develop under the gaffer and the coaching staff, um, help the team and feel like I've got a bit of a point to prove now I'm back in England and I want to kick on again and develop. And yeah, just can't wait to get started. You left Livingston at the end of last season, having played you know, over 100 games. That must have been a, a difficult decision for you to leave. Yeah, as I say, like, I enjoyed my time up at Livingston, loved it. Um, I think for me now, I wanted to get back into English football. Uh, that You can't beat that, playing Saturday, Tuesday every week, um, getting into a rhythm. So I've missed that and be closer to home as well, which was important for me and the family. So yeah, I'm delighted to be here. I can't wait to get started. You credited Livingston in an interview when you left saying that it, that move and, and your time there made you a better player. What was it you, you meant by that? I think just the overall moving up to Scotland, developing off the pitch, uh, playing more and more games, getting more experienced, playing in different positions against different opponents, playing in front of Celtic and Rangers and 50,000, 60,000 fans. And uh, yeah, just the more games I kind of grew on and off the pitch personality wise and it helped me develop on the pitch as well. Coming from that West Brom Academy, I know there's a lot of former Exeter City players that, that you know and you spoke to, and Tom Parks from Livingston as well. That, what, what did they say about coming down here? Yeah, they've had nothing but good words to say. Uh, Sweens has come up a lot uh, to speak to him, saying he's the man to speak to. He's been here a long time and all the boys have been brilliant. The coaching staff have welcomed me. Marcus has helped put it together and helped me settle quite quickly so it's only my first real day at the club so I just hope I settle really quickly get up to speed with what the gaffer wants to do and um, I'll take on the recommendations from the, my teammates uh, former teammates and uh, that have told me to do. What kind of defender are you what would you say are your best assets? I think I like to defend I think uh, I like to defend the box well in 1v1 situations um, I like to play out from the back quite a lot as well. Uh, yeah, just I think the way Exeter City play, um, I think it'll really help me develop and I think I could bring something different to the team as well. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And finally, you have the honour of signing for the club on the day that the Supporters Trust celebrate 20 years of, of owning the club. Yeah, it's really unique. It's nice to, when I was researching like about Exeter, everything that come up was like, it's a real nice bond between the fans, players, staff, and you can feel that when I've arrived. So yeah, it's massive 20 years fan owned club. It's, it's really good. And um, yeah, hopefully it's positive for the future.